All right, y'all, so we are back again for a crumble cookie review. Now, I did make an error. I cut into the cookies too early. My girlfriend tried to warn me. I did it anyway, so I can't show you all the individual cookie. What I've done is I cut the cookies into eighths this time because last time we got four because there was only four like really new flavors that I hadn't had, but this time we got all six. Um, the chocolate chip is the semi-sweet chocolate chip. That's to me that should be their standard chocolate chip. I'm really excited about that one, right? This is what it looks like here, an eighth of it at least. Another one that I'm really excited about is this. Whoop, it's gonna fall apart on me. Is this Butterfinger cookie? Okay. I'm not much for frozen cookies or the chilled cookies, but this frozen hot chocolate is pretty appealing with the marshmallow. I've had the triple berry cobbler before. Very refreshing cookie. I like it quite a bit. Uh, we got the sprinkle blondie. Also should be an interesting one. Usually the more plain they are, the more like buttery they are and they're pretty delicious. And then this one, the candy cane brownie. This one should be pretty interesting as well uh, because when I was younger, to me, mint was toothpaste. So I did not like mint and chocolate. But as I've grown and matured, I've learned to like the flavor, like a good Andy's mint. So I'm, I'm really excited to see about that one. All right, I'm gonna start with the uh, Blondie, just cause it seems the most basic. And we're, gonna, we're not gonna single bite it this time. Not only did we cut it in half the sizes last time, but we're gonna double bite. Okay, so that's exactly what I expected it to be. It's buttery, it's sweet, it's kind of basic, but you really can't go wrong with it. It's like, it's not over the top, so it's hard to mess it up, okay? So that's a that's a, a good cookie. All right, I'm gonna knock the, um, the triple berry cobbler out now, just because chocolate tends to like overpower other flavors, so we're gonna save the chocolate ones towards the end. All right, so once again, a great cookie. The texture of that cookie, it's almost like, I don't know, it has substance to it. And the, the tartness of the fruit with, is it, I don't know if it's cream cheese that they're putting on it, but it just, that's an amazing cookie. The the cobbler, it, it bests the, um, it bests the blondie for sure. Just cause it's got more going on. It's just, it's a, you don't expect that from a cookie. All right, now we're going for the semi-sweet chocolate chunk. Okay, I know this is a knockout. Like I said, this should be, their everyday chocolate chip cookie. I don't even know why they make the other one. Maybe people have less sophisticated palates, but this right here is where it's at. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a winner every time. So that is now the new favorite. <laughs> that's my favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, that's, I mean, that the reason that that one bested the cobbler is because I could eat that every day, okay? The cobbler, it's unique, it's different, it's unexpected. The chocolate chip is classic, okay? My favorite cookie is a chocolate chip. All right, now we're going for the peanut butter crisp featuring Butterfinger, okay? And I love the candy, Butterfinger. I think it's delicious, so... Mm -hmm. Whoa, we're four for four here. These are incredible. I'm not really huge on peanut butter cookies, to be quite honest. That was an amazing peanut butter cookie. The texture from the Butterfinger, the familiar taste, it was buttery, it was light, it was great. That was fantastic. All right, so it's just been brought to my attention that the candy cane brownie and the frozen hot chocolate are both chilled cookies. So uh, that's what we, we narrowed it down to at the end. Not typically into chilled cookies. I like my cookies hot, but actually I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to do the hot chocolate one first because the, the peppermint one's going to be refreshing. It's like an after dinner mint. Okay. All right. Marshmallows are a nice touch here. Frozen hot chocolate. All right, so so far the frozen hot chocolate, that's last place, okay? 
And nothing particularly stood out to me about it. It was a chocolate cookie. The marshmallow didn't really add anything. It was chilled, you know, not my forte. But, you know, they have those like double fudge cookies that they do and stuff that are incredible. That one, underwhelming. All right, now we're going to do the candy cane brownie. And remember, you used to hate this flavor, but I'm a convert. So definitely has that minty smell. Smells like an Andy's mint. We're going to triple bite this one. All right, so that chocolate cookie, you had more of that chocolate punch. The peppermint on top was like clean and refreshing. The texture of the candy cane crushed on top as well was a really nice touch. So I did like that cookie. I'm going to place it. I'm still after all these years, peppermint chocolate's not my favorite. So I'm going to place that second to last. It's just the way it is. It wasn't warm, you know. It is what it is. But it was a very good cookie. If you're into peppermint and chocolate, that, that's the way to go, okay. So we got, we got the semi-sweet chocolate chunk at the top. We got the Butterfinger cookie, number two. We got the Cobbler, number three. The brown, uh, Blondie, number four. The Peppermint or Candy Cane Brownie number five, and the frozen hot chocolate dead last, okay? <laughs> but that's it. A, a really good week this week. I'm going back in for another eighth of my favorite one, the semi-sweet chocolate chunk. Look at how it's dough in the middle. Look at this. Look at that. Incredible. Oh, my God. All right. We're going to one bite this one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's good.